Hey, hey, thanks for stopping past. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you are returning, thanks for joining me. Let's get started with this look because it's a cute one. So first, I'm gonna start by prepping my skin with some moisturizer. I'm using this aloe vera gel. It's actually from Target and y'all, I'm breaking out so bad on my forehead that I'm hoping that this moisturizer can just fix everything. Then I'm gonna layer over another moisturizer. It's by Bliss and it's this cream to water moisturizer. Basically, it goes from a cream into a water once you work it into your skin it just feels amazing and it smells amazing then we're gonna start working on the brows I haven't been caring about my brows too much lately I've just been letting them grow freely and doing their own thing that I don't even have to fill them in too much um, but I do like to give them some definition so I'm using this Stila all-day waterproof pen literally waterproof like it does not come off unless you take it off um, I'm gonna brush them out once I fill them in and then carve them out with this concealer um, this concealer is by LA Girl Pro um, and it's in the shade Fawn. So I'm just sculpting out my brows, top and bottom, just to give them some more definition and make it look like I got a brow wax because I haven't gotten my brow wax in so long. Then I'm gonna prep my eyes for eyeshadow, which is the fun part. I'm using this uh, Urban Decay primer potion and then right over top of that, I'm using this uh, NYX Jumbo Pencil and it's in the color Milk. It's a shade and a product that I have not used in such a long time, so I figured why not use it for this particular look if I want my colors to turn out more vibrant. So then I'm gonna start off with this Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette and this is the color Cream Sickle, which is a really pretty orange color. And over top of that, I'm gonna use this color by NYX. Um, I forget the name of the shade, but it's a really bright yellow shade. I just wanted to brighten up the crease area a little bit more. Um, and then to start defining the crease, I'm gonna use this shade by MAC. It's called Red Brick. As you guys know, I love that shade so, so much. I use it for every single look I do because I'm just addicted to it. Then I'm going to use this Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, palette and I'm using the color Love Letter to work that into my crease and start to define it a little bit more. Y'all, this is going by way too fast. <sighs> I'm trying to catch my breath over here. <laughs> Um, but as you just saw, I applied this blue shade from the same palette and it's called Twerk. Um, and then I'm going to apply this purple shade, which is called Royalty, right over top of that. Just because I wanted my outer corner to be a little bit more defined with a nice royal purple shade. And then to start prepping my eyelids for my eyeshadow, I'm using this concealer and I really try to do this little uh, makeup hack where you apply your concealer and then you blink to create a cut crease, but y'all, it did not work for me at all. I was struggling, so I had to go in with this little tiny pencil and manually define my lids. So once that's all blended out, I'm gonna go in with this shade called Sissy. It's super pretty, it's a nice pretty pink color. Um, it has hints of gold in it, which is why I love it. It's like a rose gold shade, and I love anything rose gold. So I'm just applying this over top of the concealer to set it in place. Anytime I do a glitter look, I always use eyeshadow underneath of it just to give the look um, an extra pop um, and just to make sure that when you do see through the glitter, you're not looking at my natural look color, you're actually looking at a shade underneath of it. So that's exactly what I did there. Um, and as far as adhering the glitter to my lids, I'm using eyelash glue because I ran out of glitter glue. So you just gotta make it work. Um, and then as far as glitter, I'm using this shade from NYX. It's this really pretty shade um, that I found when I was shopping through Ulta. I wasn't even looking for it. It was just waiting for me on the shelf. So you know what? I'm gonna pick it up. So it's called Beauty Beam. And I'm just applying that all over my lid and then defining my crease a little bit more with that same purple shade. And then here's the fun part. I'm using this same NYX jumbo pencil called Milk that I use to prime my lids to use it as a cut crease. And I struggled so hard with my right eye that I just got a little bit frustrated. But once I got to the left eye, everything looked a lot better. So then I'm just gonna blend out the color a little bit more um, with no product on the brush, just a clean brush, just to make sure that the harsh lines are not there and not seen. So then I'm gonna go ahead and prime my skin with this Benefit Professional Primer. Um, my pores have been a little larger than usual, so I just wanted to make sure that they were kind of sealed um, and just make sure that the makeup won't seep into my pores. As far as foundation, I'm mixing together two different foundations. I'm using the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation. It's in the shade 4.0. And then I'm also mixing together the NARS 
uh, what is this? The Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation, and this is in the shade Macau. As far as concealer and highlighting, I'm going to apply this LA Girl Pro Concealer. It's called Fawn. I'm putting that underneath my eyes, my forehead, bridge of my nose, cupid's bow, and chin. Just basically in all the areas where I want to highlight my face. And of course, I'm blending that out with a damp beauty blender. You always want to make sure that your beauty blender or beauty sponge is damp. Never apply it dry and never apply it soaking wet. Then I'm going to start to sculpt out my cheekbones and just give my face some more structure because once you apply foundation and highlighter or concealer, you kind of create this fresh, clean slate for your skin and there's really no definition. So I want to bring back that definition with my contour, just using the same concealer by LA Girl Pro. Um, and this is in the shade Beautiful Bronze. It's a shade that's a lot darker than my skin tone, which is what you want, because to create definition, you have to go with a shade that's a little bit darker than your natural skin tone. To set my skin, I'm using this Airspun Powder. Uh, this powder has grown on me. I did not like it at first. I didn't like the smell of it, and I definitely did not like the consistency of the powder because it, it just felt way too thick and cakey, but I think it was mainly the way that I was applying it, so... It's definitely grown on me and I love it. I use it every single time I do any makeup look. And then I'm just going to use this Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. It's in Translucent Medium Deep. It's the darker shade for medium to dark skin tones. So I'm just using that to set my entire face. And then to set my contour, not my concealer, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me foundation it's in the shade 360 mocha and I just use this to contour my face or to warm up my face uh, I ran out of my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit I have to buy another one or at least buy the shades that I used up already but for now I'm using this As far as my cheeks, I'm using the NARS Orgasm Blush. Love this blush. Very cute, super pink and pretty. And it also has uh, some hints of gold in it. And I love putting gold on my cheekbones. It just gives my face a nice pop. And over top of that, I'm using this MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder. And it's called Cheeky Bronze. And I just use that to kind of bronze up my face and warm it up a little bit. You can't really tell that I'm even using any of the product. Um, it's very lightweight and it's very light on the skin, but it, it's just enough to give your face a nice bronzy look. And then I'm just dusting away that extra powder and starting to prep my lashes for my falsies. I'm just using some mascara. I always use mascara before I use my uh, false lashes. And for lashes, I'm using these lashes by Eyelore and it's a part of the Jasmine Brown collection. Love these lashes. These are my favorite lashes at the moment. Yes, they are taking over uh, for my Wispies by Ardell, but I still love those too. But for now, these are my favorite. Then I'm going to coat my lashes with mascara just to blend my lashes with the false lashes just so everything looks a little bit more natural. Then I'm going to go in with the shade Cream Sickle again, put that on my lower lash line. And then this time I'm using the shade called Roxanne. Um, it's a nice orange, like a burnt orange color and I'm also using that on my lower lash line. And then I'm going to apply some eyeliner, it's just a simple black eyeliner by NYX. And then using the same purple shade that I used in my crease called Royalty, I'm also blending that out to the lower lash line just so that it kind of seals the deal with the eyes. And to top everything off, I'm going to use mascara on my lower lash line and also coat my top lashes one last time just to make sure everything is good to go. For highlighter, I can't remember what shade this is, but the highlighter that I applied over top of it, it's called Tourmaline, and it's a part of the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, highlighting kit, and I just love mixing together different highlighters and just making my cheeks pop, or just making my face glow in any way that I can. So this is the completed look, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, comment, subscribe, you know what to do. And of course, I won't see you, but you will see me in my next video, so stay tuned. Bye, guys.